Here's a way I like to play the intro for I'm Yours by Jason Mraz on the ukulele. Let me start by saying I did go ahead and put the song in the key of C. I think the original is in the key of B because the chords B, F sharp, G sharp minor, and E, well, E's not too bad, but those chords are not very fun on the ukulele. So just one half step higher makes it the chords C, G, A minor, and F. Much friendlier. But the intro is this part. Now you could bar those top two strings, but because I'm going to have to go to that chord shape, I find it easier just to use my middle finger on the second string, and my third finger there, it kind of tucks in there nicely. The slide can be challenging, you want to pick and then slide. I'm kind of doing a plucking thing, because you don't want to strum all the strings. I guess that's not wrong, but the open strings kind of crowd the sound of those, so I would strum or pick just those two. Again, I like my middle finger here because then when I do the second part and it's time to go to this, I find that a nice I find that to be a nice transition to keep my middle finger on the second string. And then an added bonus is that the, for the third thing, you just take this finger, your first finger, over to the third string and strum those two. Notice I'm not strumming these two strings anymore. I'm now strumming the two that I have my fingers on. One more time, I'll play it, and then I'll show you something else you can do. It's kind of cool. Oops. playing by yourself is kind of awkward because you have that long pause of nothing happening, right? You're just kind of going like this. Awkward. Know any jokes? <laughs> so something else you can do is you can almost try to pretend to be two players, in this case ukulele. I like to do the first part of it, and then instead of playing the second or third, depending on how you count it, that part, you can just strum. A C, or I would call that a C5. As most of you know, here's a C. And if you play this note, it just makes it what I would call a C5. So watch this. So in other words, I can play the first part, but then turn it to a chord. And the second time, instead of doing this, I don't know if you notice or not, but that's the top part of a G chord. So you could go like this on the second part. Then the third part, you already have those notes in there. Oops. That's your A minor. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's the whole thing. One, two, three. 